No Muslim is a Muslim who does not believe in Jesus. Right. So you can't claim here and say I love Jesus well, you know, as though we Muslims hate Jesus. Jesus. Hang on. You but, an idol of Jesus. But I'm not quoting from the Quran. I'm quoting from your own scripture. You're believing in an idol of Jesus. Let's see what Jesus has to say. He the, said that I will be I will be handed over to the Pharisees. I will be killed. I will be crucified and I will be risen from the dead. I'm asking I'm asking you about John 17:3. Jesus says that Matthew Matthew do you know just Matthew Matthew why why do you Matthew why do you feel so uncomfortable to engage right so let's engage what Jesus has to say right? because you have an agenda Matthew I don't, I don't have an agenda. agenda you you refute me you don't have you refute me you have an agenda you refute me. I don't want to get an illegal Matthew, Matthew, refute me, refute me then, look. I don't want to get illegal legal extent. Matthew, Listen, Matthew, all I can you're... do is pray for you. Matthew, pray for you. no, 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 in Jesus name. Matthew, Matthew, you. Matthew. That's when, all I can do. When, when, can, you, can, you, can, you let me, can you let me speak? Have I not, have I not listened to you? Freedom in Jesus name. Have I not listened to you? Freedom in Jesus name. Matthew, are you here Freedom to learn? Jesus. Or are you here just to impose your no, views? No, I don't need to, I don't need to learn anything. So why are you here? I'm learning from the Holy Spirit. I'm I listen, Spirit. I listen to you very attentively and I respected your right. journey, your experience. So why don't you return the courtesy? Because you're just trying to prove something to me. Right, hang on, but I'm not proving to you anything. Right. I'm just quoting you what Jesus to, says, your Lord and Master. You're trying to, in, a, in a very narrow, narrow limited view of Scripture, right. are you, do you're you trying feel, to catch do you, me in a, uh, in a legal but, but, hang on, Matthew, right? Matthew. Which is not going to change anything. Matthew, do you feel, feel Matthew, do you feel uncomfortable that I quote from the words of Jesus? No. Then let me quote from Jesus then. Okay, go right. Ahead. Right. Go ahead. Jesus, peace be upon him, says, in the Gospel of John, yeah. chapter 17, verse 3, sure. Jesus says that this is life eternal, that they may know you, the Father, the only true God. Right. And Jesus Christ, whom you have said. When Jesus says, Say you the Father, the only true God, right. is Jesus included in the and Godhead? He is in him, and I am in him. I didn't ask you that. I asked you when he's talking about John 17 now. No, I'm asking you if right. Jesus says the only true God is the Father, can Jesus be God? He is. You're not going to understand the Trinity without the Holy Spirit. Okay, let me try and illustrate. Right. If I say Jesus is the Word of God, let, right? Wait. And the Holy Spirit is I'll, the power I'll, of God. I'll, 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 I'll right. engage that conversation, no problem. But let's skip to John 17 verse 3. Say we talk about the Word of God. Correct? Fair? Sure. Okay. Let me give an example. If I say the only person in speaker's corner is Matthew, can there be another person with Matthew? I'm not going to No, it's basic English. When I say the only true God and Father, Jesus cannot be included. Jesus excluding himself. Very simple, but you, but you, Chris, that's, but, that's Matthew, what you but Matthew, okay. but Matthew, if that's what you believe, that's okay. Ma Matthew, but I'm not quoting from the Quran, I'm quoting from the words of but Jesus. That's what you believe, but you're okay. not, but, but be honest, are you then consistent with what Jesus says? Do you, do you believe exactly what Jesus believes? He's the Son of God. I didn't ask about the Son of God, I asked who's the only true God according to Jesus. There's God the Father, and He has three aspects. No, has, no, 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 no. Right? Jesus says the only true God is the Father. Now, what you're right. doing, you're doing Easter, Jesus. You're, imp you're interpreting your own understanding. Let's go by what Jesus has to say. The only true God is the Father. Right. Can there be another God? I'd have to, I'd have to. If I say the only true, the only person in speaker's corner is Matthew, can there be another person? Basic English. Now you say the Father is in me. And and Jesus that's what Jesus said. Right. Doesn't, Je doesn't, doesn't Jesus also say in John chapter 17 verse 21? Didn't he pray for the believers to be in us? Right. Together. So are you so and they're one. Together, He's so one are with you God then? He's are, one with, I'm one with the Father, yes. So I'm are you God Spirit. then? Are you God then? No, I'm one with the then Father. Then there you go. So when you say the Father is in me and I in you, right. that does not mean Jesus is God. He's not claiming divinity. Just like Jesus says, you all okay, believe. So we can, wait, wait, Matthew. We go back, we go I'll, I'll let you speak. We go back to John when he says, where the, yeah. the Jews are saying, yeah. he's saying he's the Son of God. He's saying he's, he's saying he's how, equal to how God. You, right? How do you understand the Son of God? The Son of God. He's the one who came forth from God. He's right? the one that came forth from God. Like the Word, right? So the Word. God speaks. God okay. is the So you're quoting from John 1 1. Yes. He's Let's understand John 1 1. He says, in the beginning was the Word. So you have, you, you have a specific interpretation on, that but, you're trying to impose Matthew, on you. Matthew, then refute me. I'm letting you speak. Speak. I'm not trying to refute you, man. I want you to be free. But do you know what that? Do you right. know what that demonstrates? And if you get into a like just like the Pharisees, if you get into a hyper legalistic interpretation of everything, then you limit your own belief, right? You don't. You limit the faith that can come through the world. Why don't we let Jesus interpret? Let's see what Jesus has to say. Not our interpretation, not your interpretation. Jesus says the only true God. I'm sorry to be very hard because I'm very, very. I was very nice, and you're a really nice individual, you're not right? Me at all, man. Right, right, right. I'm that's the reason I'm saying it. That's, that's the reason why I'm telling you. I got Jesus inside No problem. Me, we love Jesus. We love Jesus. But you know the true love is the one who follows, not just his, not just lip service, right? Okay. So look. The one who's, the one who's 
does but, his work, right? Jesus the saved. one who heals the sick, the one who casts by, out by his permission, by his permission, the one who, the one who by his permission, feeds the poor, by his the permission, the naked. That's what I do. Matthew, that's but, how I walk out. When my Jesus life. performed miracles, did he do it according to his own accord, or no, did he, he did do it by, by the power of the Holy Spirit? Through it. No, not by the power of the Holy Spirit. He said by the Father. Right. I cast out is, devils is by that, the Spirit of God. Is the is the Father is the Father is he a spirit? Is the Father the Spirit? Is the Father God the Father is he a spirit? No, he's not a spirit. He is a spirit. He's a spirit. Yes. Was Jesus a spirit? He has the spirit of God in him. When he, he says, when he says the Father is in me and I in you, does that mean Jesus is a spirit as well? Yes. How? Jesus says in Luke chapter 24 verse 36, when he went to the upper room, Jesus said, handle me and see. For a right. spirit has no flesh and bones, as you see me have. he came as a man. Oh, but, but you just said he's a spirit. You, this is like you're never, you're going you're gonna to chase yourself around in the tail. If you just said he's a spirit, but Jesus right. saying the opposite, I'm not a spirit. I'm saying he can be more than one thing. Right? Now you're interpreting. Right. You see, here's the problem. Let's go about what you're Jesus has to say. No, I'm not interpreting. Everyone, Jesus is telling himself. Everyone has to interpret. You have, Matthew, to, you have to read words. Matthew, you have to have Matthew, an interpretation. What's, what's, Matthew, what's their room for interpretation when Jesus said the only true God is the Father? Right, you're looking at one specific scripture. Right, one very specific scripture. Okay, go to other verses. I'll let you. I'll let you. I've read the Bible. You're not going to prove anything. You know? I'll let you speak. I'm not, I'm not trying to prove anything. You see, man. do you know what proves here? Jesus, please be funny, say very clearly. How, 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 the only truth. how many times have you read the Bible? How many times have I read the Bible? Yeah. I read three times. Right. I even read John's Gospel yesterday. Okay. Do you know why? Because you know Christians, when they quote to prove divinity of Jesus, they don't quote from Matthew, Mark and Luke. They don't quote from the Synoptic Gospels. Right. They always quote from John's Gospel. Right. So we Muslims, very easy. Let's study John's Gospel. I, I got it at home. I got, I got the, I got the KJV version, and I've got the New International version. And so what I will say is that you obviously have an understanding of Matthew. Right? I'm not here to interrogate. I'm just saying that. Look, if you are really a true are you, follower, you're sure you're not here to interrogate. Right, right. Are you sure you're not here I'm to interrogate? I'm not here to interrogate you. It's not. I'm not attacking you personally. I'm just attacking your belief. Okay. This one thing. Right. You can't touch it. You can't, you can't I know touch that I can't touch I it. Because it's on sure. faith. Go on, go on. It's yeah, on go faith. Ahead, go ahead. Just a question, You ask him if, he, if he's read the Bible. Yes. The same question. How do you read the Bible? He's only yes. been Christian for six months. Six months. Yes. I've read it one. I've read it through one time. So, so which version? I've read uh, the King James Version and I, I go back to four different versions. Okay, what, uh, you, you've read the other versions? You sure? I, yes. Have you read the Orthodox version? No. You haven't. You have read. You have to. You have to. Have you read? The, 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 the Protestant, the Catholic, no. the Roman Catholic. You have to, my friend, to find the difference to make sure it's. I a, do. I, I read. I read the King James. I go to the Greek. I read the New International Version. The Greek. What do you mean in Greek language? I have the weak translation. Greek language. And I check. What do you mean in Greek? What do you mean? I look at the Greek translation. Yeah. yeah. Do you speak a Greek language? Do you? Okay, Matthew. I'll be very, very calm with you. You guys, you guys have okay. just been ridiculous. Okay. I'm not gonna. All right. I'm not gonna attack you. All right. All right. I'm gonna be very, very calm. If I, if I did, I got Jesus. If I, if I, of you, man. You, okay, Come no problem, on. Matthew. But if you felt that I've interrogated you, I apologize. I'm going to be very calm now. You can't let, okay? I've got like, I'm going to be very calm. You, you can't Ooh. touch it, man. Okay. No. Do you know what the Bible says? It says, I'm more than a conqueror. Okay. Right? Which means I've gained a decisive victory. Because nothing can separate me from the love of God. Right? Mm. And that love is the light that shines in the darkness, and the darkness will never overcome it. Right? The darkness attacks. Right? I'm sitting in the light. I've got the love of God. God living inside of me. Nothing's ever going to touch that. Nothing you can ever say, no legalistic debate or anything like that is ever going to touch that. Of what I know, by faith, Matthew, by truth you are, Matthew, inside of me, Matthew, by the fruit of the way I live my life, by the love that I have for the world and everyone that I see and experience. Matthew, you are, true. Matthew, you are entitled to your own belief. No problem. Sorry. I'm just saying that you are a Christian today yeah. because you are the follower of Jesus Christ, correct? Yes. Now, I'm quoting you words from Jesus right. where he says categorically that the only true God is the Father. You've made your point. Right, right, right. right. So, so, what happened, so, I'm, so not, I'm not accepting it, but you made your point. No, no. Right? But just I, say, I will, I will, I, listen, you know what? This is the beauty of the Holy Spirit inside of me. You still bring me to an interview, bring me into a situation like this. And then you'll say, you need to know that more. So I'll, know, go, I'll go learn more you know, we believe, and I'll have more revelation. You know, you, know, we believe, you know, we believe Jesus was a prophet of God. He was right. one of the mightiest messengers of God. And that's what Jesus is telling you here. Right. That he's only a messenger God of God. The also says that someone who doesn't say that he's the son of God, yeah. that he came in the flesh to let him be accursed. The son of God. Okay, so let's go to John 1.1. 1, 1. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go around in circles, Matthew, man. Matthew, you quoted is the word of God. So now, so, so, uh, hang on, hang on. So I'm here to learn from your experience. You're trying now, to listen. learn? You're trying to integrate again. 
you're just you're trying to shake my faith. So you can't do it. Come on, come on. You're free. You're free in Jesus' name. Come on, bring him in Jesus' name. Oh, bye. Be free. Sorry, sorry, brother. Be free. We're here to exchange each other. We're social beings. We're here to learn each other. Right? I've learned a lot from you. I appreciate you. I appreciate that. Right? 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 Right?
So how do you prove? How do you how do you prove to a psychopath who believes that he received revelation from God, telling him to kill innocent babies and children? How can you disprove it? By the word of God. Word, and how do you prove it's the word of God? What based on your personal experience? By me reading the word of God. No, objectivity. No, the problem is because I've been in many situations in my life where, by the scriptures, I've spoken to people Matthew, not Matthew, directly. Matthew, Matthew, nobody, the word of Matthew, God, not in a legalistic Matthew, fashion. Matthew, but nobody touched their heart with the word of Matthew, God and just opened their heart to accept Jesus. Matthew, you missed the point again. Right. You are a Christian today based on your subjective experience, your personal experience. Right. A person who is a psychopath who believes and he's convinced right. that, wait, Matthew, let me complete. Let me complete. You are a Christian today based on your subjective yes. experience, uh -huh. personal experience. This psychopath, up by the this, word of God. this psychopath here, he's also backed by the word of God. Okay? Right. How can you disprove him? Because he has an interpretation of the word of God, right? That's so circular needs, reasoning. So That's needs, circular reasoning. How do you that, disprove him? He needs to, the, the, the Bible has been written to teach people, how do you prove to reprove them, to how, how do you, them, how, to train them in righteousness. How do you prove the Bible is the word of God? How do you prove it? What, based on subject experience or objectivity? It has to be taken on faith. Oh my goodness me. Based on faith. So he can say, I'm going based on faith as well. I can kill innocent yes, babies and children. Can say that. So you think it's right? No, of course not. So how do you and disprove you are, it? You are, the carnal mind is the mind of Satan. And how, the fact that you choose such a horrific how do you, thing to prove your point Matthew, shows what mind you Matthew, are. Matthew, how do you disprove him? How do you disprove a psychopath who is convinced that he's how received you? a relationship from God. You? Do you know what? Do you know? How? I would expose him using rationality and reason. What do you mean, what do you mean expose him? Because do you know what? I would say God has put intuition in us, a moral compass in us, that it's not, it's not befitting for somebody to kill innocent oh, children. Clearly. Right. Clearly right, right, right. Say that to secondly, that secondly, clearly. I would prove to you why the Quran is the word of God. Right. Why on the day of judgment you will be punished. Yeah. I prove to him the existence of the afterlife, not through my subject experience. Right. No, because I will prove to him the existence of God rationally reasonably okay but you you can't you have no tool except by a subjective experience and yet you on have a, and yet based on faith yet from your own position you want to condemn me <laughs> I, I don't condemn people it's not my job so you're not going to condemn it's a psychopath it's not my job to condemn you're not, anyone you're not going to condemn a psychopath it's my job to pray for that you're not, not going to condemn a psychopath who kills innocent babies and children I'm going to pray for Matthew come on you are you, you have you're carnally minded it's the mind of Matthew, Satan that's where you're Matthew, speaking Matthew, from Matthew wake you up you choose such a horrible Matthew, example to Matthew, prove your point okay Matthew if a psychopath is convinced right. he's receiving revelation from God and right. he and God tells him to kill innocent babies and children. Stop how talking you, about that. Wait, stop speaking those words. Not hang, the power of death and life is in the tongue. How many stop cult leaders are there? Words. Matthew, don't you know this cult? Don't you know there are cult leaders out there in the world? Yeah, sure. Right, it's how do you disprove things. them? They believe they, re they receive revelation from God. Yeah, so true. how do you disprove them? We live in a world where it's very clear that those people shouldn't be doing Do you think things. it's wrong? Of course. Okay, why is it wrong? Because the Bible tells me it's wrong. How do you how do you prove the Bible is the word of God? You have to use the word of God, and I have to speak to that no, person by the Holy Spirit. He's saying that. Look, who are you to come? Who are you? That, that psychopath will ask you. Isn't it ridiculous? Matthew, this Matthew, is a ridiculous. Matthew, Matthew, the ridiculous. Ma Matthew, the psychopath. He will say, "Who are you?" All you want to do is scream and Matthew, yell at people. It's like the Matthew, whole thing, the whole way. Matthew, let me just complete. scream and yell at people. I'm, I'm not attacking you. I'm attacking your belief, your idea. You Don't can't take touch it personally. Because Jesus I know. Is okay, of me, whatever. Man. Look, I love him. Matthew, he loves me. That's all that matters. Matthew, Matthew, if a psychopath comes up to you. You say psychopath. Are you a psychopath? Can you Wait, what's the focus Matthew, of psychopath? Matthew, Matthew, have I ever interjected you before? I let you speak. Yeah, now return the courtesy. Return the courtesy. Oh, we're allowed to speak. Matthew, return the courtesy. Be a, be a good Christian. Have some good manners. Right? Look, if a psychopath comes up to you, you will say, who are you to tell me that I'm wrong? If you're convinced you're, that what you upon is the truth based on my personal experience, I believe I'm upon the truth because I'm going my personal experience. How can you refute him? We've just been through this. Like, how, can you how many times you want to say it? How do you refute him? How many times are you going to say How many times are you going to say it? How many times are you going to say it? How many times are you going to say it? How, 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 how many times are you going to say it? Matthew, how would you refute him that he's wrong? I would pray for this person. All oh, right, pray. I would touch them with the love pray. of God that exists inside. You know, he's probably praying for you as well. <laughs> so what? Do you know what? Who to, look, look, wait, wait, sorry, do you know, do you know what? No. You have to prove to me. Do you know the only way? Do you know the only Matthew, Matthew, do you know the only way how you can refute the psychopath? Historically and why should we rely upon the Bible? 
Uh, with reason, I'm with historicity. Well, I'm not the, Christian Liu. I'm not Christian Liu. Actually, I've been, I've been a Christian six months, man. Right? You are I read the Bible one time. I listened to your journey. You are Christian today because of your personal experience. Jesus came to you. So, okay? and you can't touch that. But, you can't I'm not, touch that. Right, okay, fine. You're invincible you in that sense. That. Yeah. But you can't prove that. I don't, just, I don't need to prove that. So how can you prove the science? So, I don't so, need so, to legally so, so you are in no position. Everything is based on faith. Wait. And the, the belief in God and who he is Matthew, is based on Matthew, faith. so you are in no position to condemn the psychopath. I can, the word of God condemns him. Why? How do you he's pro- condemned himself by his actions. Matthew, so how do you prove right? to him the Bible is the word of God? I'm going to pray for him. How do you I'm going to do everything I can to save that person. He's praying for you too. he's going to stand before God one day and he's going to answer for what he's done. Matthew, this psychopath. This is will. Matthew, this psychopath is praying for you too. What does that mean? What does that even mean? That means he believes he's true. He's upon the truth. What does that even mean? Matthew, come on, man. Matthew, are you are you seriously telling me you can refute this psychopath based on your personal experience? Yes. How do you prove to him he's wrong? By the love of God. How do you, okay? How do you demonstrate to him the love of God? How? How? By the word of God. By speaking how do you the word prove of God. To, How do you believe the? How do? You, how would you convince him the Bible? Because the, the Bible God? says to love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and your strength, and love your neighbor. That's himself. circular reasoning. And if he's not using, the, if he's not loving the neighbor as himself, then he's, he's going against Matthew, God. But that's circular reasoning. Right. You you have to prove to him why the Bible is the word of God. Man, you're circular reasoning. You are using circular reasoning. Matthew, aren't you realizing this? You are a Christian today because of your subjective experience. So what, 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 why do you keep making that point? Do you know why I make this point? Why do you keep making because you are in no position to condemn others, to say they're wrong. Who say, I never said I'm going to condemn you. Say I'm not condemning anyone. You said Muhammad I'm not Sassan condemning Sassan him. Sassan. I'm saying he's deceived. Oh, wait, just the, like the, you said I was so deceived. Just get, hang on. You said so I you, have been deceived. What, Matthew, right? Matthew, 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 right? Matthew, I can say I believe you're deceived. Now what? Then we have to take it on faith. Take it on faith. Blind faith. Take it on faith. So if I some, know that I'm not deceived. So Matthew, faith. Matthew, if somebody comes to you and say, "I receive revelation from God," would you automatically believe in him? No, I'd have to discern what you're saying. Why not? What would you I'd use? I'd have to discern what you're saying. How, how would you? Okay, why don't you believe? I would compare what they say to the Word of God. If he say, if he comes to you yeah. and say, "Look, I receive revelation from God," right? And I would compare what therefore they say believe, to the Word of de- God. Therefore, believe right? in me. I have a stronghold of the Word of God in my mind. I would compare it to that, right? Okay. I would compare it to that. Okay. And it would see the fruit of it and discern it by that. Okay, but well, Matthew, if you would you would compare it to the word of God, Matthew, oh, right? Matthew, 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 Matthew. But I first need to prove to him why the Quran is the word of God. I can't quote the verses from the Quran. He doesn't believe in the Quran yet. So the, the word, the Quran can't stand by itself. You have to prove it. Yeah, that. the Quran can't stand by itself. You but you have to I have to give it. you evidence. If it's, word, if it's the word of God and you spoke Matthew, to somebody, Matthew, it's absolute Matthew, truth. Matthew, you wouldn't have to prove it Matthew, in a legalistic Matthew, debate. It's an objective. Okay. It's objective. It's basically objective. It's not subjective. It's not what I feel inside. What I need to do. Because then how would you explain that to someone? Exactly. I can be, I can be, I can be, so why is anybody Christian? Why is anybody? Why they take it on faith. No. no. Is that, is that faith based on reason, thinking? rationality. That's the carnal mind. Okay, why don't you believe? Okay, if a person comes to speak his corner and he says, Look, I receive revelation from God, would you automatically believe he's receiving revelation from God? Not necessarily, no. Just why wouldn't you? I would discern what they're saying. Why wouldn't you? I would, I, I would discern what they're saying. Why wouldn't you? Because I would discern see, what see, they're this saying. Is the, this is the power. Question of why. Why? Why? Why wouldn't you believe he's receiving revelation from God? I would listen to what they're saying. Okay, good. Right? Right. And it would see how how that affects them. They're in the way they interact with the world. Right. And the love that they have. Right. right? And it would say, right. do they love God with all their heart, their mind, their soul, their strength? Right. right. And again, you're imposing from the Bible. Do you love their neighbor as a You're imposing from the Bible again. Now you have to prove to him why the Bible is the word of God. I don't want to prove anything. Right, so so you're in no position to tell he's wrong then. It's not my position to tell him wrong. That's it, that's it, that's it, Matthew. I prayed for him. It's not my position to condemn him. Hang, hang, hang on, hang on. Are you seriously telling me prayer is enough? Yes. You're not going to try and disprove his wrong. I believe in the power of God. You're not going to expose him. I believe in the power of the name of Jesus. You're not going to expose his... You're not going to expose that he's a liar. You're not going to expose him. He will expose himself, right? I'll pray to oh, God and you'll be exposed. You know, right? you, know, you know what? Look at the criteria you're using. Your criteria upon the truth Who is, is not objective, it's yeah. subjective. You're going by your feeling. If I, let me ask you this question. If I, if so I'm a, what do you okay. do in this world without feeling? Matthew, I'm a Muslim. What do you do in this world without feeling? Matthew, Matthew. What do you do in this world without feeling? Matthew, Matthew. What do you do in this okay, world good, without feeling? Good, good, good. Matthew. Right. I'm a Muslim today. Right. Do you love Allah? Wait, hang on. Do you love Allah? Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. 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 How do you know that you love them? How do you know that they love you? Carry on. Keep talking. 
How do you know? How do you know? Keep talking. Go ahead. Okay. Are you finished? Yeah. Very good. Imagine if I say to you, I'm a Muslim today because I felt Muhammad in my heart. Yeah. What's your response? You don't, you don't seem excited about that. No, no, no. What would be your reaction? I'll say amazing. Awesome. Huh? Muhammad must be a truth to you. Ah, so how can you disprove it? I don't need to disprove you. You can live out your life. You can but yet, you you're, saying, but yet you're saying Muhammad is deceived. <laughs> you have, you have, that, that's, my, that's, my, that's my perception of So you are in no position then. You're in no position to pass judgments on other people's beliefs. Yeah, we are. We're at Speaker's Corner. We're because you're, brain, you're based on your here. subjective experience. Do you not get the point? Do you not get the point? Listen, I understand, but your whole life is a subjective your whole condemned. life is a subjective Matthew, experience. Matthew, Matthew, you just you've, you've annulled your whole life. Matthew, you're not. The experience of your whole Matthew, life. Matthew, with all due respect, I think you're. I, I think you have some cognitive dissonance. With all due respect, you oh, told me. Now you, no, you're no, in a position. No, 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 hang on, hang on. So well, uh, this time, you are in a position to condemn. Right? I do have. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. You are. Right. You have a, Matthew, you have Matthew, a position Matthew, of authority. Matthew, do you know what you realize? What you just did. You know, a few moments ago, you said Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is deceived. Yeah. That means you already passed the judgment. Yeah. You've concluded a statement about him. Yet, on the other hand. You expect people to believe in your personal experience. What? You're not. You're in no position to pass judgment on about him because I, you have well, no I can, criteria. I can, I can, I can. But you have no criteria. But I've been given all authority by Jesus Christ. You Again, you're quite from the Bible. Circular yeah. reasoning. Prove to me the Bible is the word of God. It doesn't mean you have to take on faith as we go. You can go around the circle okay, all I, day long. I, okay, I'm going by faith. The Quran's word of God. Then, okay. Then. Well, then we, we will see who's standing right when we at the end. Do you know you have evangelical Christians? Yeah. You know, spreading the gospel. Uh -huh. Is yeah. that what all Christians do? Seriously? Just by faith? Yeah, it's on faith. And then yet you impose on me to accept Jesus? I'm not imposing anything on you. You are. I'm not imposing me to accept Jesus. You, you said you feel you love Jesus. It never works. Love only works because it's a choice. Okay, do you believe you have truth with you? Yes. Okay. I should be able to access the truth that you have. You access it by faith. That show okay. me. Okay, okay. Say, show like, me, say, show me, show me. When you when you want you want something in your life, right? Okay. Right? Do you have to work for that thing? Sorry, so that you say you want a new car, right? Okay. You have to work for that. I have to work for that way, yes. But then you say, actually, no, I want the car, but I don't want to work for it. Right? Mm -hmm. The faith is the thing. Faith is the Hebrews 11 one, right? Faith is things on, the substance of things unseen. Right? Okay, but what's your, okay, what's your faith based upon? It's based on faith. No, what's, I didn't ask you, it's based on, I asked you, you're a Christian today, just based on faith. Yes. Okay, faith in what? Faith in Jesus. Right. And let's see what Jesus has to say. Does so, he, are you consistent with what Jesus taught you? Yes. When Jesus said very clearly, the only true God is the Father, yet you say Jesus is God. Right. And Jesus is saying that I can of my own self do nothing, as I hear judge, my judgment is just. Right. For I seek not my own way, but with my Father. And yet you say Jesus performed miracles. Where did Jesus, where did Jesus, where did Jesus preach the concept of Trinity? Show me, show me. I read the Bible three times. Yeah. I read John's Gospel yesterday. I couldn't find one. Yeah. Prove to me. Okay. You have your interpretation. So why do you believe in Trinity then? Because it's, it's, it's my experience reality. No, hang on. You say you're a Christian today because you have faith in Jesus. If like Jesus didn't preach the Trinity, why do you believe in Trinity? I'll have to, I'll have to read more on it. That's good. That's good. Wait, you know what? That's very honorable. We're here to learn, aren't we? Exactly. That's very honorable. That's very honorable. Very honorable. Very honorable. Very honorable. Very honorable. Do your own research. I would, I would invite you to read the Bible fully. I have. Yeah. And read the Quran too. Especially what Jesus I'm not going to read. Listen, the soul feeds on information. I'm not going to no read problem. the Quran. You know, you know what? You will eventually read the Quran. When you read the Bible, you will eventually want to read the Quran. Trust me. I will. Because you know, the message that Jesus came with is consistent with what Muhammad Sassan came with. Yeah, with the oneness exactly of God. Right. All prophets and messengers of God, they preached one message, which is one God. You believe in one God only. Shema Israel. Hear O Israel, the Lord that God, the Lord is one. The Quran says in chapter 112, verse 1, Kul hu Allah ahad. Say he is God, one and only. Okay. I will, I will, I will come. I'm not come back to you with it, but I'll, no I'll, I'll learn some more about it. I'm not, Matthew, I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you, don't read the Bible. I'm telling you, I'm inviting you to read your own book. And you would realize, you would realize that your belief contradicts but don't read it with what Jesus taught you. Read it Jesus, with exactly. Jesus said the only true God is the Father. That's the only way you attain salvation. Jesus said, the only way through him is, the only way to him is through Jesus. The only, the only, so you the only, like the one part Jesus wait, wait, you, says, but not the other part Jesus. Hang on, you quote from John 14, 6, that I'm the way, the truth and the life. Who was the destination to? 
worship God, God the Father. God the Father. Yeah. So, so we shield the right. great reward. So, do you know? So, let me let me tell you one thing. You know, as Muslims, we believe that we believe in the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Sunnah meaning his way, his path. We have to follow the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to approve God. The Quran says, whoever obeys the messenger obeys Allah. Whoever disobeys the messenger disobeys Allah. Right? So we believe that at the time of Jesus, he was the way to truth and the life. If somebody accepted the message of Jesus, then he would gain salvation. No problem. But my question is, are you really upon the message of Jesus? When Jesus tells you very clearly, the only true God is the Father, yet you believe in the concept of the Trinity, which Jesus never preached. Jesus bowed down, prayed. Jesus bowed down, he prayed. Jesus was a Muslim as well. A Muslim by definition. No, not really. I'm speaking to you. Jesus, do you know, Muslim by definition means somebody who submits to the will of the one true God. Jesus, exactly. But Jesus, but Jesus speaks upon him saying in chapter 5 verse 30 that I seek not my own will but the will of my Father is in heaven. In Arabic that's a Muslim. It's the word of God. Okay, let's go by the word of God. How do you understand the word of God? What is spoken by God. Okay, so let's look at John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. So you believe the word here is Jesus, correct? He is the word of God. No, no, I'm asking you in John 1.1, 1, 1, the word here is it referring to Jesus, right? Okay, so let's try and understand this. In the beginning was Jesus. Uh -huh. And Jesus was with God. He's with the Father, yeah. Right. And Jesus was God. Yes. So is there two gods? He's with, they are one. Hang on. Because the Lord, the God is one. Right? Listen again, listen again. In the beginning was Jesus. So you like, you like some parts, but the part... Matthew, Matthew, I'm, I'm only going by what you believe. Right. You believe the word is Jesus here, correct? Okay. John 1.1. 1, 1. And let's see if it makes sense logically. In the, doesn't, it's, like, the, the things of this, like the, the Bible says, Matthew, Matthew, the Bible Matthew, says Matthew, that the things of the Spirit are foolishness. Matthew, 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 Matthew. So you take them as foolishness. Matthew, if you literally you cannot understand them without yeah. faith to accept the Holy Spirit, right. then you can have a greater revelation. I thought you were to Jesus, so let's go about Jesus. Then. You don't like Paul, I understand, but hang on. The, the, the words he's spoken by Paul were given to him by okay. revelation. Okay, oh, wait, hang on. Didn't Jesus say all authority was given by the Father? So do you believe Paul has equal authority with Jesus? Not equal authority, but why does, why does there need to be anybody's prophet? No, 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 listen again. Doesn't Jesus say all authority was given me by the Father? Yes. So does that mean Paul has equal authority with Jesus? When no. Jesus said all authority, so let's, go about, so let's go about what Jesus says. Right. Jesus said the only true God is the Father. Right, and he says there's things that you cannot bear yet, right? Okay, how does that prove the divinity of Jesus. He says the things you cannot bear yet, right? And then they, people receive the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I know. John and chapter then, 16. Right? I know. I know. And then afterwards, the revelation is given to John. Does it say any... Right? The mystery that Christ lives inside of us. Does it say... That's the mystery that Hang on. Paul revealed. So it's a mystery that Jesus is God. No. Okay. It was a mystery. Right. So who, how did he make it clear to you? By revelation. To, by revelation right. to John. Can you show me any clear... By revelation to John. Right. Give me... I didn't ask you for revelation to John. I asked you the words of Jesus. He said, why do you, why are you so why are you so adamant to quote from Timothy from from Revelation? Why don't we go about Jesus has to say? True. Right. So Jesus said the only true God is the Father. Yes. So can Jesus be God then? He and you're never gonna understand it. Okay, let, I help me understand. Do, okay, pray me, pray me. Go on. In Jesus' name, I pray that you understand. Okay. And I pray that the go Holy on, Spirit go gives you revelation so that you can understand. No, no problem, no problem. Right. So let's go by the revelation that Jesus spoke. Yeah. Yeah. Don't Which is the gospel. That Jesus what did he say? Them words like I am God. Not one right. said it. John, uh, no, Jesus. If you go through the whole, the Matthew, whole, the whole dialogue is here yeah. proving that he's God yeah. and saying, Matthew, Before Abraham Matthew, was, I Matthew, am. Jesus is preaching. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, uh, Gospel of Mark, right. chapter 12, verse 29. A, a, a man approached Jesus and asked him, Which is the greatest of the commandments? Jesus, did he say, The Father does not Holy Spirit, these three are one? He says, Wait, 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 you see the Father, okay, I'll explain to you. Okay, no problem. I'll explain to you. I'll explain to you. Yeah. First of all, because you have the authority, right? Oh, I don't have the authority. Uh, I read, I read, read the same book that you're reading. I'm reading the same book as you. Yeah. Whoever seen me has I seen the Father. Book, though, right. So, do you believe, so okay, when Jesus said, "Whoever seen me has seen the Father," yes. do you believe Jesus was the Father? He is the express image of the Father. I didn't ask you. I asked you, right. was Jesus the Father? He's not the Father. No. Right. So when you say, "Whoever seen me has seen the Father," that doesn't literally right. mean that whoever seen me has seen the Father. How did he? Because you no see, one can see you God. see, you see, that's exactly. Right. So if you read the context, so God creates an, Im creates an image of right. himself. 
right, right? As God, but he is the one that comes from God. That's why he's the okay. son of God. Right, right, right. But that's the reason why you have to read the context. The context is that Philip asks, you know, how can we how can we see the Father? Jesus said, whoever seen me has seen the Father. And notice what the disciples are saying. The disciples does not know how the Father looks like. But yet Jesus says, whoever seen me has seen the Father. Meaning that it's not understood. I've been with you this long and you still don't know right, it's me. Right, 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 exactly. So, the Father. Right, so here, right. In, in other words, what Jesus so saying. So the Father doesn't have an image, but that image yeah, is yeah, Christ. But, but, and that's why he is yeah, God. Yeah, but, but Jesus, right? wait, Jesus saying, whoever seen me has seen the Father. Right. That means, if you're going by the literal interpretation here, that means you're insinuating that Jesus is the Father. Yes. But that, 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 that's, that's modelism. That's mod does, that, you know, it doesn't make sense. Wait, hang on, that's modelism. You're no longer a Christian. You know what the Nicene Creed say? The Nicene Creed say there are three, per there are three distinct persons. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. These three are one. Right. Right. So when Jesus said, Who has, whoever seen has seen the Father, right. did he distinct himself from the Father? What? Right? So now it's good you're thinking. Very good. Very good. So if you're saying whoever seen me has seen the Father, Jesus was the Father, you're no longer a Christian. You're a modernist. You know what modernists say? Modernists say the same person can be the Father the Son at the same time. You're kicked out of Catholicism. You're kicked out of Christianity. No, no, right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, 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 I'm not saying you're, you're a Catholic. I'm saying that's contradicting the Nicene Creed, the concept of Trinity. Because Trinity acknowledges their three distinct persons. The Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Father, the Holy Spirit is not the Son, etc. Right. So, so let me tell you what Jesus actually meant when he said, We have seen me, have seen the Father. Jesus says three verses before, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one has come to the Father except through me. Right. So Jesus is saying that, look, if you want to reach to the Father, you've got to follow me. Right. So if you say, Who have seen me, the Father, you have seen me, the Father. In other words, if you follow me, you follow the Father. If you follow my teaching, you reach to God, you reach to the Father. Huh? Follow him, does that mean worship him? Follow him. He did worship him, he did stop him. Okay, worship, okay. Worship, if you go back, if you go back to the, to the, uh, Arab... People bow down to him as a baby. People bow down to him as a baby. Yeah. Okay, so was, uh, Nebuchadnezzar. He was worshipped. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's, not, he's not Jesus. Why not? Because Jesus is the Son of God. You see, let me tell you one thing, right? If you go back to the original Aramaic, the word worship is Sagad. Sagad does not literally mean worship. It's different meaning. It's out of respect. You pay homage. That's what it means. So it doesn't literally mean worship as a deity. Even Moses is called as a god. If you read in Exodus chapter 7 verse 1. No, no, no. When, when he says that, when, when God says to Mo, uh, Moses that, I, I'm not sure the exact uh, verse, but I'm paraphrasing, God called Moses as a God to Pharaoh, Elohim. Does that mean Moses is God? No. Right. So you have to understand the biblical language. When it says worshiping Jesus, it doesn't mean worship as a deity, it means out of respect. Even Joseph. Joseph, wasn't he frustrated? Right. That doesn't mean Joseph is God. Okay. This is why I'm saying, this is why I'm inviting you to go back to your own scripture. Go, go back to your own Bible. And you would, re and you would realize, you would realize that the concept of Trinity is never preached by Jesus. The divinity of Christ. You know, you know what's amazing? The only time that the Jews accused Jesus claimed divinity was I'm a father of one. All other accusations that the Jews made towards Jesus, not to the divinity of Jesus. Did you know that? That's amazing. And even I'm a father one, Jesus even repeats it. He says, is it not mentioned in your law that ye are God? That why do you accuse me of blasphemy when I am God's son? See, the son of God is not a blasphemous term because if you read the Old Testament, all the Jewish prophets were called sons of God. Adam is the son of God. Abraham is the son of God. Because you know, the term son of God means righteous people. It does not literally mean son of God. What happened is, by the, by the passage of time, with a Hellenistic understanding, now you now the understanding the Son of God is different because you're you're bringing from the Greek mythology and you're imposing on Jesus. But Jesus did not literally.
speak to me he's the son of God in terms of you know the same nature never claim that if Adam is the son of God this is amazing this is what the Quran says the Quran says in chapter 3 verse 59 Allah says in the Isa in the Kama Tali Adam that the likeness of Jesus in the sight of Allah is, is like that of Adam he created him from dust and he says being it is Almighty God say in other words Almighty God he demonstrates his powers in different ways he created Adam alayhi salam he created Adam Adam peace be upon him without mother and father so why, so why did God send uh, Jesus sir? why did God send Jesus yeah. do you know why to because they're not the, 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 where did he say that he came to die for our sins. Where did he say? Do you know? Do you know what's amazing? Assalamu alaikum. How you doing? Do you know what? He's more nicer than me. Trust me. We'll have a good conversation. With him. <laughs> you, you. No, no, no. You're not no, no, no. Nice. Right. You know, I read John's gospel yesterday. Yeah. Even the disciples did not expect Jesus to be risen from the dead. Yeah, they didn't know because wait, why didn't they know? John went. Peter said, we're not going to go to Jerusalem. He said, get behind me, Satan. You're going to yeah. find, 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 find yeah. you. Yeah. Carly mind, not spiritually mind. But then, but then, if, but then if Jesus... So if why did he go on the cross? Right, hang on. But why if, did he say he was going to be handed over? Why did he say he'd be killed? Why did he say he'd be killed? Wait, wait, hang yeah. on. But, but, but Jesus never says, I'll be risen after three days. He never said that. Just, that's the reason why the, the disciples the, doesn't the know. The only sign that will be given is the sign of Jonah. Now, you're quoting from Matthew's gospel. Yeah, that's what you're quoting. Okay, if you want to quote from the... Okay, I can, I can deal with that. The sign of Jonah. Okay, what was the sign of Jonah? That he died in the whale. Did he die? He died a spiritual death in the whale. He didn't die. He says, I'm down in the shul. I'm down in the shul. Oh, oh, spiritual death. So he didn't physically die. I don't know. Because I wasn't there. Angle, but you believe Jesus died. So like, you guys love to get super legalistic about Ma it, right? Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. Right. Look, all I'm telling you is this. Right. All I'm telling you is this. That, that with all due respect, when you read the New Testament and when you go by what Jesus preached, yeah. he never preached the Trinity. He never preached that he was God. The only time that the Jews accused Jesus of claiming to be God is John chapter 10 verse 30, I am a father one. All other, before Abraham was I am, all of that, the Jews never accused him of claiming to be God. Why do they want to start him? They want to put, do you know why? Because he's claiming to have pre-existence. Yeah. Right, but pre-existence is not, doesn't mean that he's God. Because in the Old Testament, Solomon... So before anything was created, he's with God. So Wait, but, but so Solomon. Solomon mentioned the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, that I was I was there before the creation of the earth. Even the Quran mentioned in chapter 7, verse 100, 172, that indeed we extracted from the loins of the children of Adam. And we asked him, am I not your Lord? We say yes. Have you read Proverbs chapter 8? Proverbs chapter 8. have read it. Though. He's more nice, I'm not sure. Proverbs chapter 8, 23. Sorry for interrupting, Robert. No, 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 no. Yeah. Proverbs. Okay, I don't take Oh no, I don't take that. Look, look if, I, if I hurt your feelings, I apologize. Yeah. You can't hurt my feelings, man. Very I good. said, Jesus lives here, and I'm, I'm filled with love and joy and peace all the time, man. This is a nice discussion. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I got stuff to learn. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you point these things out to me so I can, so, so, I can have a deeper so, understanding of it. Exactly. So, what I'm telling you is that a lot of Christians. I find it a bit. I find it a bit. You know, sometimes it needs to. You can even know the scriptures so well miss them completely at the same time. I, I'm but, 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 and I, and the I, of man have made the yeah. word of God null and void, basically. But I admire you that you will read the Bible. I admire that and I respect that. Because I've read the Bible like three times fully. Yeah. Right? I've read John's Gospel yesterday. So this is the reason why I read John's Gospel particularly because no Christian ever quotes from Matthew, Mark, Luke and John to claim to give any to Jesus. Right. It's only from John's Gospel. 